Hello, this is Glenn Stacey from NIBSC. Uh, I'm going to uh, go run through a brief uh, Coxbank tutorial and overview on mycoplasma contamination. In this picture, you can see uh, mycoplasma organisms uh, covering the surface of a series of animal cell cells. Uh, this gives you an indication that these are very small organisms. They're one of the smallest bacteria known. Uh, they also uh, often are closely associated with the cell membrane in cell cultures and through that are actually feeding on the cells, hence the name here, vampires of cell culture. In having this close interaction with cells, they can cause phenotypic and physiological changes and even effects on uh, genetic uh, replication. A number of these effects are at the cellular level, as I've indicated, and can cause transformed cell morphology changes in phenotype, altered chromosome complement or karyology, and enhanced mutation rates. In addition, they can also lead to induction of cytokine expression in certain kinds of cultures. And obviously, all of these effects would have a significant impact on the use of the cells for particular research applications. They also have specific, have known and reported to have had specific impacts on cell culture assays. Uh, notably hybrid cell clone uh, selection procedures, identification and isolation procedures for retroviruses, and also uh, have significant, significant impact on the widely used MTT cytotoxicity assay. The first approach to take in dealing with mycoplasma contamination is to carry out routine uh, examination of cultures using a qualified method to detect them, and once you have detected them, to destroy them. Uh, only retaining uh, cells uh, which are contaminated if you have no other source of those particular cells. It's important uh, uh, not to rely on uh, off-the-shelf methods unless they've been qualified against standard methodologies, particularly because the sensitivity of these methods can vary significantly, and also their specificity in that they may miss certain species of mycoplasma. Further information on mycoplasma and infection, uh, there are sections in the Kirk et al. publication from 2005 on good cell culture practice, and the PDF is available through Toxbank. There's also a publication from UK Stem Cell Bank on detection of mycoplasma, uh, published in Nature Protocols. And there's also a, uh, a book chapter uh, by myself on quality control human stem cell lines, which looks at various methods of uh, detecting and handling mycoplasma contamination. And with that, I'll, I'll leave you to refer back to the more general sections on good cell culture practice and the references included at the end of this presentation. Thank you. Thank you.